Hello everyone, Adip here. In this video, I am going to interview Mr. Dylan D'Souza, who is the physiotherapist for FC Goa development team. And we will be answering questions like what is physiotherapy? What is the difference between doing a master's in sports, orthopedics, musculoskeletal or manual therapy? What is exactly the difference between these things? And we will also cover questions like what to do, whether to do masters here in India or abroad. Obviously, this will be his personal advice or personal experience or choice that he has taken. But you'll get some insight into how to think about when you have to make these kind of decisions. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, do let me know in the comment section below. And let's get started. What is physiotherapy is the question we are going to answer today. We have Mr. Dylan D'Souza with us, who is the head physio for FC Goa dev team. So. Hi, I welcome you to my first podcast and uh, before we get into the main topic of what is physio, I would just like uh, you to introduce yourself and say something about yourself. Uh, hi, hi guys, uh, my name is Dylan D'Souza. Uh, I work with the FC Goa dev team as uh, Adib mentioned. So basically, uh, I studied in India, I studied outside India, uh, I have a bit of work experience. Uh, mainly, I mean, as all of you all know, most physios, uh, they start going in different streams in the beginning. So, you can count that as some experience. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit about me. Okay. Yeah. So, as I know, you did your master's in Manipal, right? Yeah. And as well as your UG. Yeah. He was my senior. Yeah. So, I want to ask you, what was, what made you choose uh, to do your master's in Manipal? You have studied abroad, you know how it is abroad. So, why did you choose to do your master's in Manipal instead of doing it abroad? Because a lot of people think that it's better abroad. So, uh, to answer that, actually, if you really know specifically what you want to do, then you can do it outside. Because outside, they garner their courses very specifically. Hmm. Like, they will show you their exact uh, you know, course outline and it's very specific topics. Yeah. Whereas in Manipal and many parts of India, they give you an entire outlook first and then they go into specifics. So it's a lot of uh, generalized knowledge first, at least in the first few semesters, mm -hmm. and then you go into specifics. So I feel as a physiotherapist, you should know everything around you because you won't get a sp specific case, right? You'll get a case that usually has uh, multiple issues with it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I chose Manipal. Okay. Yeah. So like, as you mentioned, the specifics, right? I feel like over here in India, a lot of us fail to understand what the specifics are in the first place. Like for example, when someone is doing their masters, there are so many masters, masters in orthopedics, musculoskeletal, there's sports, there's manual therapy. And uh, I get asked a lot of questions like what exactly is manual therapy and like how is it different from sports physiotherapy? Okay. So because all of them lie in a similar area and they have some overlap here and there so like is it the umbrella term orthopedics under which all these come or is it musculoskeletal under which it comes how what exactly would you class how exactly would you classify it uh i would classify personally i would classify it under the domain of musculoskeletal sciences okay. because orthopedic is a very specific term uh, because here we're dealing with terminologies yeah. uh, but in terms of uh, what uh, people in India understand is like orthopedics is mainly ortho related so sports comes under it manual comes under it yeah. hand comes under it uh, like you know basically it's hospital setups hmm. that you're working in um, but in general like you asked what is manual therapy what is sports therapy it's the understanding is pretty much the same you have to have a general idea about musculoskeletal sciences uh, like you know this is keeping aside cardio neuro and yeah. all the other special uh, specialities you need to know the body really well like the muscles really well uh, like your bones really well uh, you know how pain really well nerves really well uh, because once you have that understanding like you have that proper understanding of the body in that speciality then only you can think about manual therapy then only you can think about sports mm. because your basics should remain the same yeah. okay like basically if you want to go say cardio you need to have a good knowledge of the heart lungs all those sorts of things right the body yeah. that way 
obviously i do have that basic knowledge but at, at a masters level you're supposed to know even the research point of view and those sort of things hmm. so getting back to your question manual therapy sports or uh, like hospital related uh, specializations would you call it orthopedics orthopedics yeah okay. you can call it orthopedics per se okay um what is manual therapy uh, that's a very interesting question so manual therapists make physical diagnosis uh, i think a uh, better question than that would be what is physiotherapy first yeah, that, that was my follow up question <laughs> yeah because that needs to be understood first okay okay uh, because um, physiotherapist slash physical therapy yeah uh, that's more of a we give treatment in terms of phys- like physical terms yeah uh, like where we use our hands or, or where we where we like treat the body uh using outside methods we don't like you know uh like medicine is basically from inside out right we are treating it from outside in that's just an analogy so you understand it's not exactly what it is uh so that way um basically history wise physiotherapy was mainly an orthopedic sort of uh, mm-hmm. setup because we were ma- mainly seeing like uh, i think in the beginning it was in gymnasts and then it went for polio related then it was like uh, world war related yeah. so we were mainly treating orthopedic conditions from there uh, we dra- uh, like we started branching out in different sectors even orthopedics became very specific uh, because um, certain sort of conditions uh, only a physical therapist can diagnose and based on that particular diagnosis you'd give a certain physical therapy okay uh for example suppose uh, you find a trigger point which i'm sure everyone would be knowing what a trigger point is right yeah. that's a diagnosis you made due to a uh, a physical test you didn't use a blood test you didn't use ultrasound maybe you can use but i'm just saying you didn't but you did some sort of uh lens testing you did some some sort of isometric testing and then you figured it out based on what information you got from this test you sort of give a treatment on it okay so it's very manual therapy specific mm. okay whereas if a sports person found the same thing they'd have a different approach to treating it manual therapists would usually use some form of myofascial release um maybe uh, uh hold relax techniques these sort of things whereas a sports therapist may may use uh, some form of exercise or uh, like you know trying to uh, activate the uh, other group of muscles it works that way Okay. Nowadays everyone has similar information but what you choose to use is based on your speciality. But uh, then where will the techniques like dry needling come into place like that also you use for uh, trigger point release right so that would fall under a completely different category or because I see sports physios mostly using dry needling so oh, or yeah. is it like a technique that they have uh, taken from some Yeah 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 that's basically those are adjunct therapies Mm-hmm. uh yes uh, physiotherapists uh, but even other um professionals do use those therapies right it's not sp- very specific to us yeah right like uh, even like an acupuncture specialist or a massage therapist even they could use dry needling yeah. it doesn't it's not specific to us so that's that's a separate category but if you come to the main question the physiotherapy so yeah. uh you said it's manual sports, sports yeah. and this, so sports would be focused on as you said working on the muscle groups and uh strengthening and more of stretching w- would it be limited to that or will it no, also it, it wouldn't be limited to that i wouldn't say that because even manual therapists use those techniques right yeah uh but uh, what it would be is that in a sports setup you get sports experience hmm. now say i was working in say i was working in a hospital right yeah. so we see a certain group of patients that come in a certain way like they either get a fracture or uh, they have some sort of muscle contusion like very specific patterns and we treat them with that train of thought with that school yeah. of thought but in sports it's on field yeah. uh we again formulate some sort of thought process there which is separate yeah. we might use similar techniques but mm-hmm. our thought process is based on specialty will be different yeah okay in general most of the individuals with a lot of experience who've done a lot of courses uh, you know who've kept up to date with research they can basically do everything under the umbrella term of 
muscular skeletal sciences okay. so at the end of the day you should be a jack of all trades yeah i mean obviously you'll be mastering one particular but you should know everything in that domain got it the original question that i had because this is the question someone asked my uh, my relatives keep asking me what is physiotherapy so how can one answer this question <laughs> to a layman if you really want to explain a person what exactly is that you are doing with your profession oh uh, we are basically a movement specialist i would say if you're that's trying right, to uh, movement science science yeah yes. that's what now they've obviously taken a separate domain you know kinesiology and stuff like that but uh, ideally we are movement specialists because we look at the body we see how it moves and then we are able to diagnose based on that like what the issue is right because we see that uh, basically muscles um how to keep fit how to remain actively healthy uh, in this very sedentary lifestyle we get certain types of uh, diseases is a wrong term but like uh, some sort of disorders or things like that which only we could fix mm. like you'd need a certain type of exercise like either you know high intensity based or muscle muscular based cardio based something like that yeah so if you're going to tell <laughs> if you're going to explain based on uh, uh you know how your relatives are what do we do the easiest thing is we do exercise <laughs> yeah it is the easiest thing for them to like you know understand, understand. okay because you can't say anything else you can't go like no 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 i will give you injection and this and that needling no we basically prescribe exercises as a medicine so that you get better you know without relying on um, maybe painkillers or anti-inflammatories and stuff like that so you you recover uh properly we uh, there was actually uh, a very interesting uh, quotation by mosley it's one of the leading uh, researchers in our field and uh, he basically said that we actually what we do is we don't like change the body and stuff like that the only thing we do is we facilitate recovery so i would say that's what we do we facilitate recovery just by putting you in the right direction direction kind of. yeah we point you in the right direction yeah yeah right no, yeah. that's that's a good explanation but this is all debatable okay <laughs> <laughs> okay so i think we have taken enough of time we'll keep the video short yeah and yeah. Uh, we'll wrap this up if you guys really like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and let me know if you want similar videos in the future i would be really happy to do this thank you so much for watching